Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Christine's Creations. How you guys doing today? I have something so big planned for you today. I'm very excited and it's taken me a while to work up to actually telling you guys about my big secret, my, my economical secret, okay? And stay tuned to find out exactly how, and this is what I wanna show you, how I framed these and many more. How did I frame this for under $5? Okay, I don't even, okay, how did I do it? Check it out, how gorgeous, okay? This isn't something I wanna brag about to people that I'm trying to sell these to because it looks so amazing, look at this. <gasps> so beautiful, love that glossy finish. Um, here's another example. Okay, look how beautiful that is. Framed and gorgeous, under $5. Not kidding, not kidding at all. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. I didn't resin the frame, I did resin the canvas. You can mount little canvases, tiles, you can mount so many things inside of this, okay? And I'm gonna tell you how, stay tuned. First, we have to make the bloom, okay? First, you gotta make the art, <laughs> and then you can frame the art. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna work on a um, nine or 10 inch hexagon tile. I can't remember the inches, and I'm gonna make something gorgeous, and then I'm gonna show you how we frame this. You don't have to use resin, so if you can't use resin, that's okay. You can do it without resin, but if you do like resin and that glossy finish, you are gonna love this trick. I'm gonna leave the link down below of what you need to buy and tell you all about it, okay? All right, so stay tuned and enjoy. Let me know what you think in the, in the description, in the comments. Okay, bye. Okay, so here's the color wheel for today. Um, I haven't used just a plain white background in so long. I'm just like kind of in shock. Um, so yeah, this is the, let me go over the colors really quick. Um, three TLP pigments. I got a couple new ones that I'm trying out. And um, one Arteza, this is Arteza Pearl Cactus Green. And it's just lovely, lovely organic green. And this is TLP's Parakeet. Lovely. And this is TLP's Lagoon, which I already love. Haven't even used it yet, but this is a very, very nice color. I can see myself using that a lot. And then um, my Old Faithful, Harvest Gold. Love this one, had it for a while and love it. And then the cell activator for today is uh, Dioxazine Purple by Basics with Australian Floetrol and it feels a little thick. Hmm. I mixed these up last night. It feels really thick. Let me add a little bit more Floetrol to that. So this is my white base paint. I'm going to put this to the side. Um, you want to always check your consistencies right before you pour because I'm going to shake this because uh it makes a big difference and once you get started you know you're having so much fun you don't want to stop so I got a bigger Australian flow trawl this time I, I got a liter because I have been out of it for at least two weeks and um, I did the min wax with American flow trawl Still feels thick. I don't know why it's so thick. Golly. I'm gonna try it. Okay. So I'm gonna do a blowout bloom. Um, let me just move these to the side. And this is a 10 inch hexagon tile. Okay, you're pretty heavy. And obviously I get these at Home Depot and or Lowe's, um, whichever, wherever I can find them. And they're very cheap and they look amazing. Um, this is an example, and wow, the light is really bright, of um, what I did with this. 
and I haven't mounted it yet, but love how this one turned. Now this was a swipe technique. Um, and if this balloon doesn't work out, I may do another swipe. I want to cover my sides. I don't want to have to worry about them later, so I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so that little puddle for the middle for my bloom pillow. Make sure it's got enough there. And here we go. Arteza Pearl Cactus Green first. Parakeet. Lagoon. And gold. All right, getting this purple cell activator. I'm gonna have to blow on this and I hope I can get in there. You guys are gonna have to see my head because I don't have a different camera for a different angle. Could use a blow dryer. Let's just see how this one goes. Do a little more blowing. I'm gonna put some swirls through this before I blow it out. Give you guys close up. You can see that better? Right there. It's pretty cool. lines. Do it again. 
Okay, so the vote has been cast. Um, my son said keep it. And it is really cool. Uh, I do like subtle. And I do like this area right here where I could put one or two butterflies if I wanted to. Um, it's got a really cool negative space. The cells are great. So, you know, it's not bright in your face. I mean, the purple certainly is bright enough. So, yeah, there she is. I'm going to bring it over to the drying table, and that was incredibly fast and easy. Yay! Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so this pretty bloom that I did, um, this is before the resin. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I added two stickers that I thought were absolutely perfect for this. And I've got one, you know, it's sitting on the little branch. And this dried so incredibly smooth. Um, I'm very, very pleased with it. Uh, I just needed a little something and that beautiful little butterfly uh, stuck it right on, trimmed the edges, and that is ready for resin. And so I got to really thinking like, you know, this needs a frame. And so I got my wood panels. This is a wood panel I buy by the eight pack through Amazon and I turned them into frames, okay? So, so this would be the side that you paint on because it's a wood panel. But what I do is I paint the frame the way I want it and then I resin over it and I create um, a glossy frame so this has been painted now as you can see that's a it's a very dark but it is purple because this painting and I did a gold edge because those are the main colors in here so when you put it together Obviously, um, with the resin, it will be, you know, much better. And I'll show you guys the results because I'm going to resin this tonight. It looks so much better and dramatic. I love this. I'm super excited to see it under resin. Um, these frames, you know, I'm always looking for a bargain. I don't have a lot of money for my art supplies. So here it is. I just ordered from Amazon. It was literally here in a few hours. I didn't have to wait overnight. I ordered it this morning. This cost $32.99 with Prime. Of course, it's a US. Uh, I'm not sure how many people but um, are from like other countries. But I'm gonna put the link in the description box. But this is $32.99 that comes out to $4.12 per what I like to call frame but it's also a wood panel, okay? They're really thin, and that's okay. Look, eight of them, and it's raw wood, and I've done this over and over again. I'm gonna show you guys lots of examples of you paint them, you resin them, and that's okay. If you don't resin, then this may not work. You could do a gloss coating of some kind, but you can make them any color you want. And, you know, when you're a creative person like I am, then you're going to do really great creative things with these. And at $4 each, uh, that's a great bargain. I'm sorry. Even though resin's kind of expensive, it's not that expensive to cover one coat to make a beautiful frame in your custom colors to match your painting and your tile. So this is a 12 by 12. So anything 10 by 10 will fit in it, even probably 11, if you have something that's 11. But um, I've even put six inch tiles in here and look great, all right? So I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so here we go. So this, now I haven't mounted the tile in it yet, okay? So this has now been resined. This is the frame. I painted this, and I know it looks very dark, and, but it's purple. And then there's gold. See, there's the back. I'll put the mounting of the, where it goes under the wall. And that is a beautiful, beautiful frame. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a little bit of resin, and that acts as a glue, a permanent glue. 
and mount that in there just like that. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, finished. Look at that resin shine. And for seriously saving money here, guys. Let me show you the other one, the other finish. side so turn it around I haven't mounted this I like to mount it separately so I, I resin them separately just like that okay and then there it is and it's it's much stronger now with resin on it it's, it's still very light you don't want it heavy on your wall anyway okay it's light it's beautiful it's strong and then you just do the same thing Take a small amount of resin. You can use Gorilla Tape. Uh, these tiles are kind of heavy, so I feel more comfortable if I'm gonna hang them on the wall with resin as a glue, because there's nothing moving that once that cures. And then there we go. There's that beautiful finish. Beautiful, beautiful finish. And I'm sorry, but if you're trying to sell these, people are going to love this frame love that finish love that glossy texture and you cannot beat that you cannot beat that price at all beautiful love it okay hi everyone <laughs> So I just wanted to show you the variety of uh, what you can do with these um, frames, uh, wood panels into frames. And um, I just I went around my house and just kind of picking things off the wall. Uh, this is a six inch tile. And uh, I just went with straight black on that one. And you know, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mounted it put um, the, that hook on the back, which is really easy to do. And um, some, most of these on this table are for sale, if anybody's interested. Um, the only couple, I'll tell you which ones are for sale. This one is for sale. Um, and yeah, I had fun doing that tile. It just came out so gorgeous and using the color blocking. And uh, you can go back in my videos and, and find that one. Here's another one I decided to put on a white background, which I love. And um, another beautiful, uh, crisp, color blocking uh, cells. Just absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, just I kept the framing very basic because it was so busy. And, um, you know, just straight white, painted it with white, and put resin on it. That's it. Um, now these, this one, um, actually goes like that. I have had this, and it's not been framed yet. And because I made this this color palette, I just was like, this would probably look really good in this color palette as well. This one is not for sale. Uh, this one is, and that one is. Anyway, so I was just you know, seeing how versatile that background is, that uh, metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft is awesome. Um, I could even swap it. I could do gold here, which is what this is, and the turquoise on the outside. I think that would be fun to, to flip it. So uh, here's another one. Now this is a canvas. It's a 10 inch canvas and it's a bloom. This is for sale. And I just wanted to use black uh, around it. It just gave it a really, really nice contrast. Uh, here's another tile I did. I was really on a roll with those six inch tiles. And um, this one is for sale. That one is for sale. And um, again, went with the black. When I first started doing this, I was kind of, you know, not experimenting a whole lot, just wanted frames. Uh, now this one, um, th this 
bloom oh my gosh it just blew my mind it's not for sale i absolutely adore this one now this is how it looks if you keep it natural and you don't have resin so i did put uh i think it was golden pecan wood stain um to darken it a little bit and which is a very light wood and then um i just put a clear coat over it so you don't have to resin these so you can keep them natural um and they look amazing i love that for this one um and then i was also playing around because this guy this is not for sale um has not yet been framed and see that i almost think that the blue on the outside would look really really nice with this one i don't have a video for this bloom and i don't have a video for this bloom uh, i wish i did <laughs> But because it, the color combo just came out so nice, I can only guess what the colors were. Uh, so again, a 10 inch canvas mounted in there the same way. And you've got yourself a beautiful painting. Now here's another one over here that I kept with the natural colors. And, and that's a hummingbird sticker. Um, I don't have a link for that. Um, but in the description, I have the link for these frames or wood panels, 12 by 12 wood panels. And, um, this one is also for sale. Yep. 70 bucks, you know, for sale. Really, really pretty. Got some cute little stickers and things in there and give that. So that it, it, it's endless endless possibilities you guys okay and for f under five dollars you can just do so much and and give your work that really really finished look okay everybody so thank you so much for joining me today um please subscribe if you haven't already like my video if you do and click that notification bell i don't make a lot of videos but if you do that then you'll be notified when i come up with, come out with a new video uh look in the description box for the links to the um uh, the butterflies the wood panels that i make into a frames and um my uh email address if you want to contact me for any reason share with me pictures of uh what you're doing and and i'd love to hear from you in the comments below all right everybody thanks and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day bye now